my character's name is Michael, and uh, the best way I would describe him is hardworking guy. Um, comes from a very well-to-do family. He's got a beautiful wife. He met his wife in high school. They were high school sweethearts, played by uh, Scout, who is absolutely incredible. Michael and Scout decide to have children. I think more so on the uh, wife's side. She wanted children. Instead of the conventional way of having children, they have a rough time at it. So they go get IVF shots, but black market IVF shots. So uh, what happens is instead of uh, having normal children, one is a beautiful child and the other is a tumor cyst. That, we find out, is alive, but we find out later after Michael then goes off and explores his sexuality with uh, a man that he meets and file, falls in love with, played by James. So we end up finding out that this whole time uh, Michael was actually in love uh, with men rather than a woman. I thought instantly it was, it was fun because you've got, you know, the aspects of a sort of an 80s genre horror film, you've got the comedy layered in, you've got a lot of heart layered in between uh, a wife and her husband trying to have a child, um, you've got uh, relationship complexities between a husband who actually is in love with uh, men this entire time, so I, I think there's a lot to it. I did not know Scout Taylor Compton before the movie. Uh, it turns out we do have the same agency. Uh, I am from Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, because it's a beautiful city and I, I chose, um, you know, to be born there. I'm jealous of Matt Damon because he, uh, he made his way uh, off Mars. And I have to say, I think, um, I think Cynthia is going to do wonders for me. So, uh, Matt Damon, coming for you, bud. Cynthia, I would play a, you know, Matt Damon's younger brother that was constantly under, you know, sh overshadowed. He never, uh, he was never in the limelight. Possibly always in the closet. He never got, he never saw the light of day. I did cut myself shaving. I, I bleed profusely. Um, but it's okay because I ended up getting a really close shave. That and Scout Taylor Compton bites really hard. In the sex scene with Scout Taylor Compton, I was thinking about James the entire time. I, had, I stayed in character. My favorite scene in Cynthia, I would say, is my jump castle scene. I have not played gay in my personal life. I was gay in a pilot. But at the time, I was metrosexual. You weren't really sure. It's kind of part of the, of the, uh, of the drama. It's like, is he gay? Is he straight? And this one, uh, you know, to your outstanding writing, we know I'm gay pretty pretty close into midway through the film. So you didn't beat around the bush there, so to say. Went straight for the gay. The scenes with James Halloran, I don't think we had too many really sexy scenes. You know, so you, I mean, you could have written that in. I mean, he's a very sexy guy. But um, I think we held hands at one point. We may have put our arms around each other. There might have been a little, a little uh, uh, butt grabbing. As Kyle Jones, I think I'm known for my humor. I'm known for my positivity. This is gonna sound like a soapbox record. But I'm serious. Um, I am known for not my acting, certainly. But maybe after uh, this film gets released, I will be. <laughs> I think people should see Cynthia because, uh, first of all, it's, it's entertaining. It's going to be fun. However, there's some beautiful relationship moments. <laughs> start over. People should see Cynthia and they should see it at, at you know some VIP uh, <laughs> beautiful movie theater because now movie theaters you can spend thirty dollars and get get waited on and you know all that great stuff so I think people should spend as much money as it takes to see Cynthia.